So I'm going to show you how I make my moong dal dosa and this is recommended in our program. So I normally take one third of a cup but if you want to make more batter and keep it in the fridge you can also take half a cup of each. So I have here urad dal so I'm going to take um, sorry, I'm going to take this urad dal and measure one third of a cup pour it in here. This is my moong dal, so I'm going to take another one third of a cup and to this I'm going to add two one thirds, okay, so two cups, uh, two one third measures of um, chilka moong dal, so this if you can see is the chilka moong dal. This will add more fiber into the whole mix. So this is how I'm going to just mix it up together and let it soak for about six to, I normally soak it for six to eight hours or maybe soak it overnight. So as you can see, all the dals are nicely soaked over here and I'm going to blend it in this blender. And while blending, I choose to add um, just one or two green chilies uh, a few cloves of garlic, um, some zira and salt and a little bit of coriander. So this is only for mild seasoning. If you want, you can just blend it with salt and then as per your taste, you can add chutney or something, some other condiments later on. But this tastes very nice and you can have the dosa as it is then. So I'm going to put it all in the mixer and I'm going to blend it well. So this is the way the batter is ready now and I will just pour it out and basically you can um, make dosas straight away out of this batter or if you want you can um, keep it to rise or ferment for maybe 6 to 8 hours and then you can make dosas or you can make idlis. So I am going to lightly brush my pan with a little bit of oil. Uh, even if it is non-stick, I do prefer to brush with little oil because it just gives the dosa a nice taste. And I will take this kind of a spoon and I will add two ladles like this and then I will just make a nice dosa. So if you make a thin one like this, you can have two dosas. Uh, but if you make a thicker one, then you can have one along with some dal and some vegetable. So this is basically much better than having wheat or rice because it's got all dals. They are much better in nutritive value. Also, they will keep your sugar level low and they're also very filling.